Difficulty level 29. I'm starting to regret that I didn't level my sinners up further. Flashbacks to a ruin that ravaged Sinclair's life and a storm come to an end. Chrome is the only one with feelings to show, and hers is an uncontainable satisfaction. And here we go. Oh, good lord. Checkpoint reached. Everyone is reset to zero sanity, full health. I have four signs. The top helm, the blood rate main, and corpse seal, which expired. The nagel and hammer scriptures, the token of atonement, the the tongue <laughs> and the green skin. <laughs> oh, level 30. I Yeah, I should have anticipated as much. Let's go. I expect to lose this one, actually. No, I shouldn't go in with 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 the expectation to lose. Sinclair? <laughs> あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
or a nail. She always carried one with him. As for her looks, not too different from what I remember. Except a little taller, and that disorienting laughter. Uh, can I stop here? None of this helps. So I unlock more of this, the more I kill her, right? So you, you'd have to go through the dungeon several times. Okay. The game is so nice to give me, like, the win rate stuff here, but... Yes, that's good. That can also definitely happen. This one is not smart, though. Who is that? Wait, he has a sign now. Is that a voice song in the background? I only just now noticed. Sinclair, do you have any bonuses against her now or something? Once three strokes have been drawn. Maybe I should let him fight against her? Okay, who's who's clashing now? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's see this happen. Okay. She just has so much HP though. She healed up just now. Attack skill final power plus three for this turn. Oh shit. Oh. It's not gonna be enough to win against this. Three plus eight on one coin. Let's see what it what it suggests. Okay, let's see. That's that's okay if I if I can do it, yeah. That's definitely not good enough. It is certainly struggling, to say the least. Especially considering that she gets like free attack power. I won't be able to win this at all. See is this one. And this one I only win on, like, my coin win and her coin loss. Gaze into the target for the next turn. Gaze of the one who grips staggered for one turn. Take plus 100% damage from Chroma. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> what? The gripping. Gaze into the target for next turn. On evade, deal SP damage. Oh, look. Courage to triumph fear. If you have collected three or more of a sign, Sinclair gains one attack power up and two protection every turn. You must accept the pain. At the start of the turn, if the unbroken part has bleed or burn, heal 15% of max HP and gain free attack power up. What? Oh shit. Oh shit, Mersault! And Hong Lu! Oh. <laughs> that will be a very hard battle. Oh, it will be a very, very hard. Can I even do this then? Okay, let's see. Uh, we can. We can win clashes with our uh, egos. Oh, 
Oh, God damn it. What about this one? We could just... No. Uh, well, we can win it if we're lucky on our coin toss and she's unlucky on hers. I can do it like that. Yeah, I'd rather do it like that. I'd rather take over here with Ishmael. Yeah, I know it's struggling, but what the fuck am I supposed to be doing then? I fucked up by bringing these people. How should I have... Well... I got rid of her evade immediately, at least. Yeah, okay. The cackle went through. Mm. I wonder if I can even do this. That's a lot of healing every turn. And a lot of final attack power. I can negate it somewhat with this. Okay, so she still staggered him, and now she's attacking him completely. It was at the combat start. Thank God he still did his... Gaze... Gaze of the one who grips, yeah. I need to take everything over now. Everything. Well, if I'm lucky, I'm, lu I'm lucky. If I'm unlucky, then... Just it then. God, four coins? Are you kidding me? But I can't take. Mer I can't let Mercer take this damage. That's the thing. Okay, I got incredibly lucky there, but then unlucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Good. Let's inflict some more bleed on her, shall we? At least she doesn't deal... I was about to say she doesn't deal that much damage, but she kind of does. Oh, if only this buff stacked, you know, on Sinclair, that would be a real powerful moment for us. Okay, gaze into the target for the next turn. Again, I need to... I need to negate that with with an ego attack, I think, because... It has a 300 plus 25% modifier. She's full health! Am I ever gonna get her down, actually? Oh god, I could actually be losing this clash. Since this attack is not as good for that. This is better. It starts out with 15. And it would be like a 4 plus 11, which is a 15 as well. <sighs> what was yours again? Fourteen. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Gregor will have to do this, actually. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's, it's choosing the same stuff, I guess. Oh, I won't be able to do this anyway! What is this fucked up encounter? Why does- why does she need healing? Why would she ever need heal? How can I make sure she doesn't have a debuff on her? There's no way! This is break- this is breaking the game completely. From a balancing standpoint. Oh, 
I won't be able to get it down at all. A two of us are staggered now, which means I can't take everything over. Oh, clash loose. User becomes staggered. Oh, no. I have no ego to take it over. It's like a 12 plus 5. On hit, stack a target and inflict 10 fragile. No. Do I have something that could even win? I have something that could potentially win if she rolls badly and we roll well. She lost all of her buffs as well. And Gregor has a plus two attack power. Oh, if this goes through, I will scream and shit my pants. Oh god, no, this is gonna kill Sinclair. Uh, two staggered targets, or like staggered sinners in one turn certainly yo, yo, isn't yo. good, is it? Huh? Oh yeah, okay! Oh, I thought for a second we wouldn't <gasps> roll, but we did roll! We won! Is this it? Is this all I had to had to wait for? Is my determination gonna pay off? She's staggered now. She still heals every turn, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so she's back to 579 health. But at least now I can do some serious damage. Right? Hopefully there's nothing I'm missing. Well, if you guys aren't rolling heads on the damage, you might as well just let it be then. Because we won't be able to do it otherwise. Deal and take 100% more damage. Defense skill final power minus 5. But also plus 3. Alright, did I deal? We must accept the pain. And this one is called accept the pain. That's interesting. So she has like a minus 2 right now. Oh god, my head. Okay, I'm not gonna waste too much ego resources now. Because now we know that... Let's take a look at what's going on. We could be winning this. But maybe. Maybe I should be doing this instead, you know? And now this one is not taken over, so we're gonna... Do this instead. I'm not sure if that's smart or not. Yeah, especially considering that Ishmael is... We're gonna use one ego, okay? Then maybe I should use it here, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do it like that. And like that. Still gonna be struggling, but... If we're lucky, if we're lucky, if we're unlucky, we're unlucky. We should have Mersol still to... If he doesn't, just bite the bullet now. Nope, okay. Oh, no, please don't roll heads every time! What's going on? Oh, the pain. Sinclair staggered now. Okay, is, is it is it happening? Where is it? No, it's not here yet. I need to hold out one more turn with two people staggered. Shit. Oh no, what do I let through? This one, certainly. The first one. I need to let through. Because it has the least amount of damage that can even happen. Um... Slash, which is fatal. <laughs> Shit. 
<laughs> so what? Wait, wait, wait! What is she tanky against? Blunt? Is there a blunt attack happening as well? No. But do I take three pierce attacks or two slash attacks? Considering it's fatal, everything is gonna kill her anyway. It's all fatal while she's staggered. Ah, oh, this is a little bit fucked up. Yeah, Ishmael's gonna die. Sue me. Is it my fault? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> she has... Defense skill final power. Wait, was it defense skill final power as well earlier? I... Oh, I don't know. Wow, how did I... Holy shit, Greg, how did you win two clashes there? Or like, draw on two clashes? You're with that now. Oh, he got revived. I need to level up entirely different people for this encounter. To make it easier. This is a little bit... I'm not a fan of that. You can't just outright take entire mechanics away and expect people to reliably clear an encounter then. That's just not how it works. That's... yeah, no. <laughs> not, not a huge fan of that happening right now. Gotta say. Okay, we got the ego corrosion happening on who even is this Gregor? Sure, you think you can turn it around on your own? <laughs> I rolled an 11? <laughs> oh. You know, it would be it would be entirely different if if I had any decision over what kind of attacks they used, really, but considering that some kits are just con consisting of bleed, like Heathcliff and Rodian do too, and so does Riosh, and I think he sung as well, and what the fuck do I do then, you know? I can now take the next few people with me that are somewhat leveled up, and it won't make much of a difference. And I don't even really want to win with them, to be honest, because Sinclair's not with them, so I'm gonna have to do this whole fucking dungeon again. And I could understand someone being frustrated by that if I wasn't used to the bullshit they sometimes throw at you. I... it, it baffles me still, though, because that is... that is some legit bullshit with the blade. That just doesn't fly, in my opinion. And you can call me a shitter all you want, but outright... Again, just basically disabling, disabling a damage mechanic on your part. Without any way for you to turn it off while you're here. That's just neither fun nor challenging, really. It's tedious. And it's the first time they do something I I would outright call tedious, to be honest. Can I get more observation levels through this now? No, because I haven't beaten it, I guess. Shall we take a look at Otis's ego skill? I mean, yeah, I get that you can defeat her even with blades, but it's just so bullshit. I, it might be because I've been recording for the last two and a half hours, okay, admittedly, but ending it like that is very, very, very bitter. I can't put it any other way. It's just... It's already fucked up. There you go. What do I do? Nothing. Nothing, I do nothing here because these people can't win against her. I'm gonna have to fully grind. And I refuse to do that really, I don't really want to grind. I'm gonna return tomorrow and I'm gonna do this. Maybe even with the same team. 
I don't care. Here we go, Clash of Use. User becomes staggered. 18 plus 6, 12 plus 5, we're gonna win this. Everything else, it doesn't matter, but you're gonna take this over. Do we have an understanding, you son? Hmm. Such a shame as well, because this could have been a very climactic battle for because it was built up so well. And now it's gonna be tedium. All right, who's that? Otis? Feel free. Feel free, God. Oh, it's gonna hit us well. <laughs> Okay, good, good Otis. Again, feel free. Feel free to get freaky. Just need to deal with this. And Otis doesn't even deal any bleed damage. We could just be doing this, I guess. God, if I stagger her with one character left and then don't deal enough damage to end it. Okay. Can I at least decide what to stagger against? Or if I don't stagger against this now, it's... Because it's not, it's not attacking this. She decides that she wants to attack this, but I, I need it to clash against this. I guess if you get evil corruption, you, you don't have the luxury to, to decide what you, what you want to clash with. So, maybe if I stagger her before it happens or something? She is staggered. Again, but I have one character. And I won't be able to kill her now, so... <laughs> because I roll tails once as well. Well, good try, Otis. Good try. You're full health as well. How did how did you do that? You're dead now, though. That was maybe I should level her up. Maybe I should level her up. I'm a little bit butchered. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. Now the only bullshit thing the game could throw at me again would be if there was like a second phase or something. I don't. I dread to say it. Fuck! Please no. She has one health. No. Okay. Zero. One health again. One health. I, I have to apol- Oh no, please. <laughs> okay. I have to apologize to the game. You can just return to a checkpoint and that makes it a little bit more bearable. But I still had to bring stuff past Sinners now with Yi Sang being level 21 and like everyone else being under leveled as well already. The Sinners were fatigued and damaged, some already dead. As opposed to us, Chroma still stands triumphantly. 
She reaches for the inside of St. Clair's coat in what seems like a declaration of his fate. Oh yeah, I turned down my volume again because I was doing this for a while. <laughs> okay. I think it's a sex thing. Because it was already done by then, basically. 그건 말이지. 이미 이곳을 발견했기 때문도 열쇠를 복사했기 때문도 아니야. 네가 나의 열쇠였기 때문이야. 나는 말이지 벌어질 수많은 미래를 들여다보는 방법을 알고 있어. That sounds like a singularity thing, actually. The futures that might come true. 그 중에 너와 내가 함께 온 둥지를 돌아다니면서 곳곳에 퍼져 있는 모든 이단을 썰어버리고 다니는 미래도 보았지. Wait, so, so she must be glimpsing into alternate identities then. Or oh, there must be an end corp Sinclair identity, and I hope I get it. Yokyon Idanis in Tesra is a song and notiman. Could the Yokyop Dagonukis in a noya cynica Maria? Timmy Nonan could halbodro Idan the remodel to get Turco. Cotton Marajma. Not a monk to Mori to the shin like a pugs and lego. Hachma. I like the shattered, like, is it crystals or is it shattered glass? The effect. Anya! Kojimaria! Kojimaria! <laughs> Chroma suddenly cracked a wry laugh and stopped moving. The golden bow! The golden bow on the altar resonated with a cackle and began to glow bright. No, please! I need a Deus Ex, ex Machina to defeat her now, please. Then. <laughs> please, it's half past two in the morning. I need to get up in three hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, a mass of flesh engulfs her lower half. From the hideous organic grove, bundles of ambiguous appendages stretch outward in countless numbers. As if desire and madness were made manifest. Oh, jeez! What the fuck? What? What? You, you can't even see her! What is that? People think Love Town is disgusting? What? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we will be able to anymore. Jesus! Chroma, the dreamer of human wholeness. Turn end. At plus. <laughs> he sang your right to be panicked, my friend. Why did we not get healed up? Um. At plus four can't change to an aggressive state. Okay, we get another music track. Oh, the four plus one on four coins. Okay, let's take a quick look. Protoplast swings twice, and then innocent flutters inflict bind and paralyze. Quite a few more attacks, apparently. Quite a few more attacks. She has even more HP, and she's still buffed up against. Bleed or burn. No oh god. I won't be able to do this today. And I'm afraid I will have to grind. I can't quite make out what they're saying. <laughs> I was about to press give up there. Well, 
Let's just see. 전투에 임하겠습니다. Guys, can you roll heads at least once or something? Please. That would be very nice of you. Don't embarrass me in front of the people watching me. At least not more than I already do. Oh, good lord. If there's no additional attack that just staggers her when she loses, I'm done. If target's HP is below 30% plus 100% damage. If target's HP is below 30%, kill them and heal 30 HP, gain 2 attack power up next turn. Fucking hell. Okay, she has stagger thresholds now that are easier to reach though. And she has more body parts as well. I know I'm just pressing win rate at this point, okay, but I I can't. It's been like <laughs> nearly four hours of recording for me right now because I want to do this and maybe I should come back with a fresh mind fresh outlook of what's even going on there why is she's attacking with her like teeth vagina okay, it doesn't look like there's any attacks that will just give me a free window of attack. Sudden with turn 3 becomes ecstatic every two turns. Unknown. All the Maw's physical resistance has changed to fatal. Okay. The Maw. Okay. Uh, the Maw is... All of them are the more, except for these. So if I just go by win rate, I should deal damage one way or another. How can you do this unopposed? Come on, don't bullshit me like that. Take over an attack. Sinclair, you stupid cuck. Come on! Shouldn't call that. Poor boy. Oh god, it should actually... Sinclair should deal with that, I think. Wait, wait. Who was it queuing up against this? There's too many arrows. Uh, I believe he sung. <laughs> Why was it doing that? Oh, okay, the music is kicking into overdrive now. Okay, it's staggered. First threshold. Just not rolling heads anymore, apparently. Except for now? No, I didn't. Okay, once more I didn't roll heads. The one time where I didn't want to, thank god. 61 damage, which is not a lot, but it's... I take it, basically. Okay, she's... Part of her is staggered now. Not all of it. Not all of her. Just part of her is staggered. Okay, is there another big attack? Well, I guess this one, right? Who, what is he? Yeah, he's clashing with the one with many coins as well. That's alright. Oh well. Went through another stagger threshold just now, I think. Somewhere at least. Not an arm. Something was staggered just now. I, I don't know what though. Uh, one of her arms, I guess. Okay. Yeah, there's another 510 attack here. We're gonna use another ego.
Um, yeah, sure, this is struggling, but. The game is doing the same thing I would be doing. Wait, this one is going unopposed. I can't take it over with you, son. Oh, Riosh. Uh, Otis, rather. Well, guys, how about I break the more then instead? How about you do this? Instead. I'd rather... Oh no, you can actually take this over. But that's the one I don't want you to take over, I guess. Then again, you can use an ego as well. Why don't you do this then? And she does... Wait, wait, let's take all attacks away again. I actually need to think for once. This one could go horribly wrong, but that's just how it is. And then I'll just will have to take over again. Okay. Okay, I got pretty lucky there. Oh, she says, let's lament. That's kind of nice. That's a reference. I need some good damage now. Come on. 40. Yeah, 40 is pretty good. <laughs> Rolling tails three times, so Sinclair. Thank you very much. Oh, I, again, I could really use the damage. I think it might be the first time I see her ego. 61 damage! That's sweet! The maw is not quite broken. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Chrome is breathing heavily. Perhaps it's a side effect of the transformation. The posture is unstable and the eyes are looking elsewhere. With the focus disrupted, we might be able to land a critical strike. Rough advantage. Why does Sinclair have very low odds? We need a 10. Here we need a... God fucking damn it! Oh, okay, well, I guess. Um, Gregor, please. Here's 45 sanity, right? Oh, yes! Soon enough, she let her guard down. Gregor didn't miss his chance to deliver a devastating blow. It seemed pretty effective. A deep, indelible wound. Inedible <laughs> wound was left on Chroma's body. Could this be it? Oh, Chroma got staggered. Well, yeah, I take that. I. Um. I do wonder if I can kill her now, actually, if I go by damage. Oh no, guys, you need to roll better than this! Don't roll heads now. Okay. Okay, 61 damage. If this fucks up now, there's like one attack. Oh, yes! Okay. No, wait, what's going on? Why does she still have 8 health? Okay, we, we have Sinclair with, with an ego ready still. So if we... If we just do this, and then take this over... Uh, we might we might be lucky enough to... Do I need to destroy all of the body parts or maybe the more? Well, it either works or it doesn't. Maybe Sinclair needs to deliver the finishing blow. Oh, I need to destroy the arm, actually. You can, Sinclair, you can do it! Would be pretty sweet if I do this first try. 
No, she's still alive. Well, she's losing all clashes. Uh. Whoa, no! I guess this was something I couldn't have won, or the fleshy hill exuded potent acid, melting Sinclair's legs. All the other sinners were being dissolved by the caustic secretion, too. He trips and hits the ground. No, perhaps I should say he was thrown off his feet. In spite of that, he still crawls towards Chroma. <laughs> I am incredibly angry right now, yeah. Is it moving in the CGO or am I like hallucinating because I've been awake for far too long? <laughs> Just a sentence you had to ride a bus with these strangers, it's a little bit a little bit weird, isn't it? The arm Sinclair was using to hold his weapon was growing limp by the second. He nevertheless continues in Chroma's direction. Sinclair vacantly mutters, looking at the faces of his now dead fellow sinners. Where am I when all of this is happening? <laughs> Why does she not kill me? I couldn't leave him like this. Sinclair, listen to me. I'm embarrassed that it took me so long to take action, but it was better late than ever. Act like the manager I am. I know you think a lot. I know there's a lot going on in your head that you can't share with others. That's how he was. Worried that he might be a burden, he constantly put his mind through doubts and ruminations, most of which he never let on about. He's chewed up many a thought in the form of guilt. Uh, no, no, you didn't kill them, she did. Oh, the veins just look so fucked up, don't they? Ugh. Don't listen to her, Sinclair! You have to see, look at her, observe her carefully! Unless my voice didn't seem to reach him. Sinclair's weapon leaves his hand and lands on the ground. His advance for Chroma has stopped. Yep. Looks like this is the end for us. I can feel my body melting into the mound. I knew I'd die trying to play the proper manager sooner or later. But... Sinclair... I have to tell him more. I have to tell him that Chroma's spewing a heap of lies, threats, hypocrisy and ex exaggeration. Every nerve in my body is screaming that I shouldn't give up on him. I can feel the burning pain of my melting body. Look, look closely, my boy, Sinclair! Not with your eyes, but with your heart! I screech at Sinclair. Only then, 
We see what matters most. In that moment, someone quietly appeared. Okay, Damien is back. He's wearing a huge scarf. Like, <laughs> ridiculously big. Oh, do I get my Philip moment after all? Okay. He moved with grace and airiness, as though he floated in the air. He has the mark! He seemed lighter than anyone else, unbound by anything. Where, where did he come from? Contrary to his impression of freedom from all worldly longings, an impressive air seemed to accompany every step he took. And with just a wave of his right arm... Whoa! I don't want to get on this bad side, to be honest. Chroma's upper body vanished in a clean cut. And then he refused to elaborate and just left, or...? Damian! <laughs> He's a blue name. Like the, I think the colors are somewhat important. The enemies seem to have like red names, but then we had in the beginning the the, the three stooges with the purple names. You've changed your own fate. Why did he appear now and not like 10 minutes earlier? 맞아. 그리고 나는 다른 사람이 너를 길들이는 게 싫어. Anyone else but you? 그래서 저 크로머를 사라지게 했어. The man referred to as Demi and then started to walk. He took every steps as though he were embarking on a light trip. That shit sounds culty too. Sinclair, Sinclair fainted before he could answer. Damien slowly made his way over to me. Did this have any significance in the grand scheme of things though? It, like the coins, she took the coins away from him every time she she beat him, but why would this have changed anything? Did she need him and his resonance with the bow to fully realize her dreams basically with it? Because the, the gold bow resonated more with him than with her? But I thought it already started resonating with her, that's what Faust said. Hmm. What are you talking about? Who are you? How <laughs> do you know my name? Sinclair가 when he becomes one of beautiful stars. Oh. Oh, 
싱클레어를 잘 부탁해, 단테. You, you can hear me? 나는 모든 지적임을 들을 수 있어, 단테. 당연히 당신의 목소리도 들릴 수밖에. 언제나 그런 가장 중요한 건 눈에 보이지도 귀에 들리지도 않으니까 말이야. The boy with a blue scarf vanished without notice. After that, the mounds began to melt away. They dissolved into mixtures of flesh and mud. With them gone, a single golden bow appeared before me, spreading its warm light. Claim it! Sinclair's world was gradually melting with the hills. I excruciatingly dragged what's left of my upper body across the floor to reach Sinclair. How am I gonna be healed? He was still breathing. And so was I. I figured I should still be able to turn the clock. Thus, that means I'm still their manager and I should act like one. Plus, as I learned in my dying moments, I have to strive to become a more sensible manager. With all that, I need to tell him. It might have been your fault, Sinclair. But that's okay, really. It's one small mistake. One anyone could make. I like how, with the image in the background, it looks like a, as if I have wings or something. Don't beat yourself up so much about it. I pat him on the back with my half-melted right arm. Sinclair doesn't reply. Guess he's somewhat dead, right? To be truthful, trying to identify someone to blame all this on would be a never-ending endeavor. From each of us going and carrying our sins onto the bus. To my loss of head and memory, accompanied by an by an involuntary appointment as the executive manager. At the root of all this, I might find no one but myself to blame. Who am I? Staying bound by that fact, though, will only keep us from taking our next steps. I can hear multiple footsteps approaching our hor horribly incapa incapacitated team. Sorry, it's 3 a.m. Magilius must have figured we'd get into a mess and call the after team to scoop us off the ground. Uh, it is LCCA, but what do they inject? Okay. Uh? <laughs> I felt a jab in my shoulder. No, please! I was a pure blood until now, and then a strange sensation enveloped the parts of my body that had melted off. Well, I guess it's the K-Cop stuff, right? Hmm. The voices around me start to fade. Sinclair's bawling lamentation dimly rings through the emptiness. Our third mission marked its sober end in dismal defeat. But I got the golden bell. Even though we recovered the golden bell, we lost. On the other hand, the bus was more vibrant than usual, possibly out of everyone's attempts to disregard the depressing outcome. I feel like I pretty much won. The second phase was so much easier than the first one. It's incredible. Also, the fact that I managed to get through this with a Underlevel team by quite a lot, with Sinclair being the highest with 29. Wow. Um, that was a pain. Wow, it's so interesting. Why are you wearing the clothes on the floor? I've seen such a delicious food. It's a delicious smell. It's a delicious Stimulated. Karen ref the engine. Mm. Was humming another familiar tune. I could recognize the song this time. Karon, I just Christmas and a hunch of Morotago. Karoni hung a ketima, Polly young bun. Karoni Christmas got in the ketamen, Kurongoya. Polly on Kiko Karoni of Blutoni. Yeah, come on. More Kuromion, Kuretto Kisa young banira of Prudunga. Where Tango woman say go grab? 
Agilis was watching the scene unfold, leaving his food to cool and hardly taking a bite even though he was the one who bought it all. Perhaps he's gone quiet because of Karen's song. It does come to mind that he said she was going through a tunnel. And then, I turned my gaze to Sinclair, who was awkwardly laughing amongst the other sinners. If we're going through a long tunnel, then what we do is wait for the morning to arrive, right? <sighs> don't act as if you don't understand me. <laughs> do I have a mouth? I think you missed yeah, but what about eating? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. This Ah, uh, I thought about giving a speech to the sinners about how this fruitful yet unsuccessful mission changed my mindset. Has it? Uh, but I soon shelved the idea. I told Sinclair to not let a failure of the moment bind him after all. Instead, I've resolved to make up for this less than ideal outcome on our next mission. So... Oh, I do hope we get done next as a backstory. <sighs> as Don Quixote's excited jubilation adds a layer of vigor to the already lively burst, the message I couldn't speak, but one I'm sure has been conveyed in one way or another, spreads between us. And so, the morning came. Oh, 
I don't have a Dawn identity yet, but now I do. It's Jenny Dawn! Oh, she does it for free. She certainly does. Oh, looking forward to that. <laughs>